All right, so we saw some incredible stuff from Matt Stafford. It really has been, uh, you know, really working out. And this is kind of why most people like this trade from the Rams perspective. And I felt people were getting too much on the Jared Goff of it all, right? Everyone kept saying, oh, wow, the Rams really have given up on Jared Goff. To me, I always just viewed it as, well, no, they were taking an opportunity to just get a better quarterback. That better quarterback being Matt Stafford, who has certainly played uh, very well through three weeks now. He, uh, you know, he might be the MVP front runner honestly, with a lot of the other MVP candidates kind of having a little bit of off days today. Uh, you can make that argument. Again, it's week three, but it's always a fun conversation to have. But regardless, I mean, this was certainly a very good performance from Matt Stafford. He had nearly 10 yards per attempt. Just a lot of good stuff from him. So yeah, let's get into the film study and let's talk about what he was able to do so well. So we'll start off with this play. This was kind of a Deshaun Jackson revenge game a little bit for the Rams. Obviously him being a former Tampa Bay Buccaneer. What's going to happen here is that this is going to be a cover two zone and Deshaun Jackson is running a deep route. So this should be easy for the safety Mike Edwards to cover, right? I mean, you have plenty of space. He's the only guy in your area you have to cover. This should be easy. But what's going to be great about this play is really two very subtle things. One by Deshaun Jackson, the other by Matthew Stafford. So watch what happens. So look, you see that Edwards gets back. But then at this point, Jackson and Stafford are both doing something very interesting here. And, and Troy Aikman called it out on the broadcast. So give him some credit for noticing this. But what you see is that uh, Jackson is kind of cutting as though he's going over the middle. And Stafford is going to kind of fake as though that's what he's doing. You, As you see, just looking at it uh, right now in this uh, freeze frame, there would be kind of an open throwing lane if that is what Stafford decided to do. Instead, they run deep. Edwards got so faked out on that, he fell down. Jackson wide open for a touchdown. So again, it's stuff like this where people love to say, oh yeah, you know, I mean, he threw it to a wide open guy. Uh, sure, give him credit for making the throw, but at the same time, it's not really that difficult of a throw to make. And while the throw itself wasn't necessarily difficult, it was the way it was set up that was really impressive by Stafford and Jackson. There is also something like this where it's going to be man coverage. It's a cover one play with Jackson just running an underneath route over the middle, which definitely could potentially get open on this third down and five. There will be traffic in front. So kind of a, a rub route here that could potentially work out for the Rams. And right when this play starts, I think uh, linebacker here, Devin White, just got confused because he kind of bumps Deshaun Jackson, which kind of, you know, makes things way worse. And Jackson is open. So that wasn't great. Also, the player who White was supposed to cover is completely wide open on this play. So not great job by him. But also, Jackson did such a great job on those first couple of steps that there's a reason why White felt like he had to make contact, right? Because there was immediate separation. And this is against Carlton Davis, Tampa Bay's best corner. So while well, I'm sure some Tampa Bay fans will bring up the fact that, okay, there are some injuries at the cornerback position, you can't use that excuse for this one, right? Because Jackson is getting open against their best corner. And watch Stafford hit him in stride. Again, doesn't put too much, uh, you know, he puts a little bit of air under it, right? He doesn't throw it too hard. Makes it easy for Jackson to catch. That's kind of one of those not all drops are on the receiver. He does a good job of making it easy for the receiver to make the grab and pick up as many yards as possible after that. And then you have some stuff like this where it's just kind of the perfect blend of a great scheme and a great quarterback. I did kind of like some people like, man, this is a perfect fit. It's like, well, yeah, of course it's a perfect fit. It's a great quarterback with a great offensive mind with a lot of good talent around him. Like, yeah, that checks out. That is a good fit. On this play, it's his own coverage for Tampa Bay. And you're just going to have, uh, it's going to be Cooper Cup here. Just kind of, you know, run a little bit underneath the deep corner. The player who's, you know, you kind of see that there's supposed to be a zone a little bit shallower than the route I'm showing. But it's actually, he's not going to be able to get there. So really, it's just the corner who could make a play here. And right when this play starts, you notice that, okay, so there is a, a wide open player right here for sure. But again, that's part of what makes this so good is that Stafford can hit the open guys and he can do it consistently. Stafford does make the throw and they are going to get a touchdown here. So again, uh, so there's stuff like that as well that I think is still a positive for Stafford, and it's especially a positive if you're a Rams fan. That's it's really a positive. It certainly is difficult to sometimes hit the open guys because you have to locate the open guys, right? Stafford can do that kind of thing, and he can do it better than Goff can. 
Like this one's another good example of, again, zone coverage. The number one receiver on this play is going to run a go route, which will push the corner who's on that side of the field further deep. And then what you can do is you can have uh, a route that just gets underneath that, which this is, again, Cooper Cup. And it's just going to work out really well. Watch. So Stafford takes the snap, and he's going to make this throw. And look at how open it gets. So, again, this is kind of Sean McVay highlights a little bit, right? He's getting guys wide open. Although also worth mentioning, this is the value of having a plethora of good receivers is that you can, you know, everyone can run their routes well. Not just the guy getting open, but the guys running setup routes as well can help guys get more open. And again, it's just a perfect throw as well. So you add that on top of it, it just it's unfair. It's really difficult to stop. And it's how you can definitely see why there's some of these incredible statistical days already from Matthew Stafford. And something like this was also just incredible where what's going to happen is that it's a cover two man. This was, in my opinion, Stafford's best throw of the night, even though it actually is going to fall incomplete. It was just a ridiculously good throw, though. So this is Van Jefferson, uh, you know, on the sideline right here. And while it is a cover two man, so you do have to be aware of that, once this play starts, the safety is going to kind of go be a little bit over the middle of the field. There was another deep route. That's what he's covering. So it becomes a one-on-one -on -one matchup. The issue is that this is good coverage. This is, once again, Carlton Davis. So this is Tampa Bay's one healthy corner at this point still in the game. There's kind of a window where you can still make this throw, but it's really difficult. However, watch this throw. I mean, just right on the money right there. That is a absolute thing of beauty right there. It wasn't complete, but it could have been, and only because it was an absolute perfect throw. So yeah, listen, there was a lot that Stafford did well. I do think that him being in the Sean McVay offense helps a lot. But listen, if he had to take all the criticism for being with Detroit, and people would still say, ah, no playoff wins, well, then he should get all the credit, right? In this scenario, isn't that how it should work? Uh, the reality is, of course, that it's all situational, and being, where, being in the right situation, of course, does matter, and he He's, for the first time in his career, had a good head coach, really. I mean, had a good head coach. Well, they've ha He's had some okay ones. Uh, you know, Jim Caldwell was fine, but definitely uh, McVay is the better option here. And it's really been fun to watch. So, basically, what we need to learn here is that, uh, yeah, if you can get an upgrade at the most important position in football, you do that. If you have to trade two first-round picks and a solid quarterback who, you know, Goff's playing fine in Detroit. He he was never the, like, issue, but you just, you get this kind of, basically, with Matt Stafford, you're getting good Jared Goff 100% of the time, whereas, you know, regular Jared Goff seemingly was only good Jared Goff, like, one out of every three games. So I think that's the real reason why this is so good for uh, the Detroit Lions, at least, or excuse me, for the, uh, <laughs> for the Los Angeles Rams. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, and of course, as always, Thanks for watching.